Good 530, a North Carolina-based utility company is joining forces with the electric car industry in an effort to change the way they produce energy. Duke Energy recently joined the National Electric Highway Coalition. And that was an effort to make owning an electric vehicle more accessible. Fox 46's chief business correspondent Taylor Young joins us now. Yeah, Taylor, the company is really ramping up its sustainability efforts here. Yeah, that's right, Brian. The company's CEO says their climate strategy is really their business strategy. And now the company is dipping into the electric car industry. And we have a clear line of sight on how we're going to get there. It's retirement of assets, it's more renewables, more battery storage. A new coalition announced Tuesday aims to provide fast charging ports across the U.S. by the end of 2023. Duke Energy is one of more than 50 utility companies to join in on the effort. The role we will play hopefully is giving you confidence that there's a place to charge your car. Uh, and we're doing that by investing in corridors in almost every state in which we operate, also enabling charging at home. Biden's infrastructure bill passed in November allocated $7.5 billion to create a network of charging stations. EVs currently make up 3% of the cars on the road. Biden says his goal is to have half of the U.S. drivers behind the wheel of one by 2030. I think consumers are going to have a lot to do with that. Good says Duke is working with the state on how to take advantage of federal funding. She says the region has the potential to become a sector for the EV industry. We're also looking at the Carolinas for potential a hydrogen hub. How can we put some investment into R&D around hydrogen? That's also a part of the infrastructure bill and we have some unique qualities here in the Carolinas that could attract a hydrogen hub. The CEO says right now the company is at 40% carbon reduction and heading to at least 50% by 2030. Their goal is to be 0% carbon by 2050. Good.